Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we never have to do this Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and we are back with the Fisherman Fishing Planet. And we are here again at Emerald Lake. And I thought I'd go ahead, since I was here, and try to complete some of the missions. And one of the missions that I am finalizing here, guys, is Fishing for Fish at Night, which is pretty darn easy, actually, to be perfectly honest. And I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take our, our boat out and do a little bit of walleye fishing. Maybe some sauger if we get lucky. Anyway, let's go ahead and check it out here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and set this to a private room. We're going to head into here. Now, I don't think I have to catch many on this mission. I just have to catch two, it looks like. But we're going to go ahead and take the boat. The only thing is about this whole thing guys is that we can't see very well <laughs> at all so we're gonna come in here get in our boat and that should help a little bit all right let's go ahead and board yeah I can definitely see why it helps to have that headlight going on let's go ahead and Getting a lot better at that, aren't I? Yeah, I like to head over here. Because now that there are lots of walleye, but there's sauger here too. This looks like a good spot. Once we get that set, no biggie. All right. Well, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and get our rods out here. Okay, I don't want a casting spoon. This is, let's see, I've got this with small minnows, which should get the walleye and I've got small walleye or small minnows on this as well. This is my bottom fishing rod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast this one on right over here. I'll go ahead and set that in. And then we'll get our second rod out. And we'll cast that out, and we'll see if we can't get something here. Now, it's pretty darn dark. <laughs> Hopefully, something will go for something fairly soon, but I'm seeing some movement over here. This is such a small lake for a boat this size, but I figure if I got closer to the marker, then advance time to about 3 a.m. It's a little brighter. And go ahead and, what is that? Oh. See if we can't throw this out there now. Actually, let's take that down to 40 again. And we'll throw this out. Yeah, that marker is where the walleye have been caught in the past.
Now, usually while I will go for the minnows, but it seems like on cloudy days it's a little at night it's a little harder to do. There we go. Got here. There you go. There's our walleye. 458 cash. That's one. I'm gonna cast it just a little beyond that because this rod holder is way over here. That's a pretty good cast, but right next to the marker. Well, it looks like we're going to get them the other way, guys. We'll just switch this out and pull this one in. So, hey, whichever way works. That's why I like having a bottom rod out. go 504 new personal record all right that completes the night shift we got a gold for that leveled up to level 15 which is nice so we've got a little a few more baits available we got the medium spoons available which is great I am going to be purchasing some medium spoons because those are the most awesome and looks like we've got some 14 hooks and heavier leaders and yellow maggots awesome and I also got a narrow spoon nice nice narrow spoon 1500 all right awesome let's go ahead and head out of here guys because I think I've gotten all the missions that I can do in this particular location. So there was another one I wanted to do and that was at Nahiran River. And it looks like what we've got can be a pretty good, I mean we've got pretty much everything here and we got time. So let's go ahead and check that one out. And by the way, oh before I go any further, by the way, the fish monsters are available still and, and as a matter of fact I had completed the mad-eyed um, buffalo mission right now the mudwater dendro spoon is is available the only problem with it is is that you can only get them one at a time so you have to complete each one unlike the uh, originally you could keep going and you know pick and choose this one's a tough one. I still, in regular fishing planet, have not caught this guy. I've fished him for him every time, <laughs> and I cannot get that darn guy. But we're not going to mess with them right now. We're going to go ahead and leave. And we pay for our trip, so I'm not worried about that. My main thing was getting that mission completed. We got plenty of gold, plenty of plenty of cash. So we are gonna check our inventory, make sure we have a rod that can handle this. This should actually do just fine, what I've got right here. The only difference is I need a number one hook, which I do not seem to have here. Let me check, if, see if I've got one over here. If I don't, then I'm gonna have to purchase. Yep, we're gonna have to go down here, check the terminal tackle for hooks. 
man of having to spend the gold on it. I don't know. No, no, we don't. Good. There we go. Number one. Now, did I set that as a? Yeah, I'm tracking it. Match setup with bloodworm bait and a hook number one. So let's go ahead to inventory. Change our hook to a number one. Whoops. I'm gonna put these in here too, by the way. There's a number one hook. Might already have the blood bait, I don't know. I was able to get wax worms, which is gonna also help us quite a bit. Let's see, you got plenty of them uh, blood baits. And it looks like we're already set up here. Let's go ahead to Naharan. Yes, I do wish to proceed. Yeah, it warns you if you've got a motorboat and that you can't use your water, you know, motorboat there. So we need to select the into the rocky blue location. And then we gotta go get fishing. Go fishing. Weather forecast shows an average fishing activity, but some fish has its own time frames of good bites. Set the best time. All right, guys. Now, I know and are very familiar with the times for the uniques for these guys. So right here where these rocks are in the original fishing planet was where you wanted to fish from. Where you wanted to cast is right out in this area here, real close. And as far as leader lengths, everybody has their favorite, but I always do it at about 80. Now, the time, however, is kind of weird. Now they're wanting you to put it here to 8 a.m. We'll try it. it. Looks like they got me wanting me over here. Now this is not where I fish for these guys. But we'll do it what they tell us to this time. More most likely, we are going to get red ears, but more than most likely, we're not going to get the unique. But they're making me do it this way, so that's fine. Okay, this guy's got a little more heft to him. Probably a trophy. No, it's still a regular size. Well, if that's the case, I better take that drag down just a little. <laughs> Don't want to push it. There we go. You're going to get a lot of red ears. I tell you, if you really want to grind some fish, the red ears are great. What I like about them is they don't seem to have a real preference for times. Only with the trophies and the uniques do they have preferences. You can catch them anytime. Okay, this guy is much bigger. Let's see what he is. Is he trophy or is he unique? He might be unique. Yep, he's a unique. There he is. Very nice. And see, guys, what's great about the uniques. Now, this doesn't happen to Fishing Planet anymore, anymore as far as I understand, but 
used to be that you got gold for a unique. And in this case, we still do. We get four gold. That's how you get on the, earning your gold, guys. Now, I'm going to test this out just to make sure that things still work the way I'm used to doing it. But let's take it to 5 p.m. Let's put some wax worms on here. Now, the way I've always fished for these guys is if you look right over there where that line is, there's like this tin building over there what I usually do is I cast it out about between 27 and 40 feet right here hardly any distance at all actually that's perfectly fine and then I let it float down until it gets to that tree over there And then I'll recast if I haven't caught anything. But as you can see, it didn't take long for them to start biting. See how quick that was? I don't know where they came off with saying that that was the better spot. I mean, obviously I did catch a unique there, but I will have to remember that That's a good spot, too. Come on. There you go. Well, I'm not seeming to get him now. I'll try over there again just to see. Just kind of surprised me that it was so far over on this side. Okay, that is a little on the shallow side, so we need to bring it in a little bit. There we go. be that there's just a different location here I mean they bite all along here though so boy he is really finagling with it isn't he there he goes about time Of course you would know, well, I got a panfish overlord, <laughs> so I got a couple of gold there. I'm going to try to get him one more time here. But as you can see, these guys are pretty darn easy to catch. I'm just kind of struck as odd that these aren't uniques. Usually I get the uniques this time. There we go. goes that's a decent size one there we go yeah we're getting quite a few here Well, you probably can get them just about anywhere along here. Now, that has changed. The, well, I don't know if it's changed for the original game, but it used to be that the peaks didn't matter. It used to be that the big time to catch the uniques was between about 5 p.m. 
and 8 p.m. any night of the week. Weather weather is has no effect. Now that may have changed. And it may that the uh, peak periods have an effect. But they still bite pretty good no matter what time of day it is. Let's see if this guy's going to give up on me or not. Okay, come on. There we go. Well, not a unique, but still... I'm going to try throwing it in their, their spot just to see. Now, when I used to fish for them, I used to use a number two hook most often. But you can catch them with a one-aught. So number two, number one, and one-aught. That's pretty much what you're going to be fishing with. And the one-aughts are going to pretty much be the ones you're going to use to get the trophies and the uniques. You just won't get as many bites. And with a number two, you'll get more bites, but the, you'll get more small fish. I will say one thing. This spot doesn't seem to have as much current issues. Whoa, there we go. Well, maybe the uniques are over here. I'm not so sure this one's a unique. This may be a trophy. Yep, it's a trophy. All right, there you go, guys. Not bad. We'll keep him. And that's it, guys. Those are the trophies and the uniques of the Heron River. And like I said, you can get a lot of cash in a short period of time. So go ahead and check it out. Anyway, guys, as I always say, straight cast far and have fun. And please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.